Please allow me a minute to also to acknowledge the life of um, Sylvia Flores, an outstanding Belizean, and many of us think about her as this trailblazer as a, as a woman. But more than anything else, um, she was this great, outstanding Belizean leader, uh, a leader that was never afraid to stand up for her people, the people that she represent. We know she was uh, one of the most successful mayors that um, Dangriga has had, speaker, president of the Senate, your representative, a minister in government, um, pretty much everything you could name in public service, um, Sylvia Flores did, and did it to a very high standard. Could all recognize that Sylvia came from the very same plot of George Price, a leader that served with humility, a leader that was never concerned about personal wealth, but about the wealth of her people and her country. And it can never be accused of Sylvia having a mean bone in her body or to try to have done anything, any kind of decision because she or her siblings would have benefited. And she's a wonderful example of what a true public servant is. I had the blessings, I would say, that on the 19th when I was, on November when I was there, celebrating Garifuna Settlement Day, um, along with the people in the South, that Louis insisted that I go and visit Sylvia at home. And Sharon, her daughter, was amazed because Ms. Sylvia was already starting to lose her memory and in many instances could not recognize people. But she recognized me and said, Prime Minister, how are you doing? And we talked a little bit about the work that we're doing and she continued to encourage myself as the leader, of, as the Prime Minister, the leader of the party.